Uh, let's talk weekend weather yeah. now. As you said, Friday night football getting underway. Steelers playing in Charlotte tonight. Ray, it seems like a perfect night if you're not going to a high school game to sit and watch your TV in the air conditioning <laughs> and enjoy the Steelers. Oh, certainly. And if you if you make the air conditioning cold enough, it'll feel like fall. You can get the chili going and everything. Just a thought. It'd be a huge waste of electricity and resources, but <laughs> we have some rain. Some uh, thunderstorms have been popping up this way. Haven't had too much lightning in the last little bit, which is a good sign. And this is starting to lose some intensity. So still the heaviest of the rain and the most widespread oil city back to Meadville. And then it gets a little spotty through northern Clarion County. We've had a couple little blips on the radar uh, moving out of Butler County into Armstrong. This one uh, going over the Allegheny right now outside of Catanning Fort City and then just south of Allegheny north of Murraysville a little pocket of rain there. Most of these are going to be very spotty and not last too long. However, uh, we do have to watch for the potential of a little lightning still over the next couple of hours as we have these warm, warm temperatures and high humidity. And the combination is making it still feel like the 90s from Washington to Pittsburgh to Butler to Beaver Falls up to Youngstown. So it's pretty hot when you factor in the temperatures and the humidity together. Actual temperatures mid to upper 80s still in most cases. So this is going to be a very warm Friday night football night across the region. Clouds, a little sunshine still trying to poke through here in Pittsburgh, 87 degrees and winds at 5 to 10 out of the west. The high humidity making that 87 feel like 91 and future cast overall shows that our activity winds down tonight as we lose the heat of the day and then into tomorrow. We started off quietly. We get to lunchtime quietly, but during the afternoon we're going to see additional rain and thunderstorms popping up. I don't think this is going to be a washout. As you can see, there's plenty of breaks in here. However, we will have a couple little rain delays showing up. Sunday, different story. We start off quietly again into the afternoon. I think the rain and thunderstorms are going to be more scattered around. So better shots here, and this is going to continue to be the case on Monday and Tuesday too. even some rain trying to carry over into Wednesday. Another thing we're watching is Ida. This is a hurricane right now passed over the Isle of Youth, going to continue over uh, Cuba here and then make its way towards Louisiana. Right now, this is looking to make landfall Sunday afternoon as potentially a major hurricane category four strength, and that's one to watch, especially for Louisiana and how it could impact that. Now this will die down once it hits land, and then it tries to curve just to our south the way it's going right now, but the margin of error means that it could try to brush by Pittsburgh with some rain, some of the remnants with that. So that's something to watch for the middle of the next week. 70 degrees with a stray shower or thunderstorm tonight. Otherwise, areas of fog, east southeasterly winds at five to 10. Come tomorrow, 88 degrees, warm and humid with light winds. And overall, when it comes to the rain and the thunderstorms, uh, keep in mind, they could bring some heavy rain, potentially a thunderstorm. Now, once we get into tomorrow afternoon, this is our best shot to see these rain and thunderstorms trying to develop. Over the next seven days, these temperatures go from the upper 80s Saturday and Sunday to the low 80s by Tuesday to the 70s, Wednesday and Thursday of next week. Now Thursday and Friday, it does look like we're going to get a little sunshine coming back into the area. Now, when it comes to this weekend, even tonight, make sure you have the KDK weather app. If there's a thunderstorm or heavy rain nearby, it'll tell you that the lightning or heavy rain is close to you. It gives you severe weather alerts, current conditions and a whole lot more. Search CBS Pittsburgh in the App Store and Google Play.